Welcome back, friends. This is Let's Play Star Trek The Next Generation, Echoes from the Past. And I am, as ever, the Retro Ish Gaming Critic. Now, we are about to undertake a very difficult part of the game. So this is the part I've been talking about for, well, most of this Let's Play, actually. Um, this ice moon right here. Now, after having given it a lot of thought, I decided to go ahead and use a map. I got this map from M Dragon's Guide on Game Facts. Um, on the wrong button. The reason why I did it is I remember when I was a younger gamer, <laughs> I believe my record was three hours trying to get through this next part. That is a lot of time. It's time I don't think a lot of people really want to see. So, I promise you this only is the first and the last time in this Let's Play. Let's see, there's these two here. Now, while I'm thinking on it, there are two kinds of enemies here. That one you just saw was a robot. There's also, uh, there's also a, uh, Yeti-like monster. The difference between them is the robot is fast and has that phaser-like range weapon. The, know, the Yeti is slow, there's only melee damage, but can take a lot more damage. Oh, sure, sure. I don't think so. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay. No, maybe not. Now, see these patches in the wall? Most of them have enemies in them, the more uh, robots. Two, however, I believe it's two, will contain items we need. you when we get to that point. And we go from here. Now, End Dragon put a lot of effort into this map. It's... Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, that's what happened. map, A-S-C-I-I. -I. On the off chance someone watching this might not know what that means. ASCII characters are basically the characters, for example, ones that you will find on your keyboard. Including letters, brackets, so on and so forth. 
you know, the only, I, I hesitate, I, I hesitate to call it a problem, but the part that makes it difficult is that it is all text, so it's kind of difficult to read the map sometimes. Um, so we went here. Okay, I realize this is not exactly gripping. And for that, I do apologize. too easy to get a game over here. The problem I have with that is it doesn't make sense. If one of the characters loses health completely, everyone gets transported back up to the ship. And Dr. Crusher checks the character out and basically says they're going to be removed from active duty. Now, that does not mean dead. But, apparently that's enough for top of the card because he refuses to continue and yeah, it's a whole thing. Okay, that, that's just wrong. Um, anyway. So, I'm uh, honestly about ready to zoom back up the ship, race off, and heal him, heal war, or Or select another character. Let's go here where we want to go. I really don't want to have to do a game over. I've already done this once before. Um, it's not only really humorous enough to post as like a less fail or whatever. But I have done this before. And I uh crud. Uh, I actually dropped that one. Well, apparently enemies do respond if you uh, beam out for whatever reason. Which is kind of obnoxious, but whatever. One of the things that makes this so difficult is, as you can see, the viewing area is rather small. You just can't see that much of the game. And the problem with that... You can never really tell where the enemies are. It's not often you're going to be right in your face. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. doors stay open. I think... I think if we hit one of those ice patches in the walls, those stay... Those robots stay out, dead maybe. 
He's he's so lucky. We'll find out for sure. But while I'm uh crud. While I'm wondering where I'm most of doing this is, let me thank whoever's watched this far. It is definitely appreciated. Any thoughts, any comments, and constructive criticism that will help me is definitely appreciated. As this is my first Let's Play, obviously, it's not going to be the best I'm capable of one hope. <laughs> But I do appreciate that viewers have stuck around this long. Okay, that's fast. Hopefully, people will find these videos interesting. I'm not really good at the humor, which is why I don't want to do it. <laughs> there are many less players who are very good at it. I'm not really one of them. I try for a more informational. Hopefully that works. If not, I apologize. I will try to do better. I promise. Oh, God. Oh, that's wrong. I don't really like how enemies can. Basically, how these robots can basically evade your fire, hit you from there anyway. It feels, feels a little cheap, to be honest. Ah, that's one of the things we need. Here, for a moment. Peak at said map. Hopefully, out of the way enough there. Did he move it off? Nope, okay. Okay. Now we're going to switch to data. Hmm. One 
moment, people. Again, I realize this isn't exactly gripping, but, you know, this would take forever if I didn't know what I was doing, because it's just been too long. It's... Again, it was not a decision I reached easily, because I do think it is kind of cheating, I guess. But I'm thinking of, of you guys here. I really am. I just don't think it'd be interesting to see three hours wandering around this place. The music is somewhat interesting. So there's at least that. Oh, there's that Yeti thing. Good thing is that it can't fit through the doors. I'll just stand here and shoot it for a while. Most of the health gone from that one encounter. Kind of cheap, but whatever. It's that's my biggest problem with. As I mentioned before, when we move back in the mines, the knockback is insane, and the reason why I don't like this level, for lack of a better term, is it takes full advantage of that. It really does feel cheap. On the other hand, you play enough of these games from, you know, the 90s or 80s and so on. It does feel like modern games are easier, and that's to a large degree because they are. That's not a bad thing. It's just... Developers around the turn of the last century started to figure out what makes a good challenge. Oh, crap. Run, run, run. Pretty big. Anyways, I was saying, developers finally started, finally started to figure out what makes a good challenge. And you still find elements of cheapness here. You do. For now, rather. 
Catholic either. But they're fewer, I like to believe. <laughs> that was a close one. Now, we bring Data and Riker over here, hopefully, without them dying in the process. One rather obnoxious thing is the robots that are encased in ice in the walls can be freed by the other robots. It becomes difficult. Or rather, it becomes downright obnoxious when you're trying to survive against one and he accidentally triggers a freeze, rather, a buddy of his. I think I know where I am now. Ah, uh, okay, so Bob we should get to where we need to go. I do have to say what I'm thinking of. I always found the plot of this game to be actually rather nice. It's very reminiscent of the series. I believe I said this before. It, I had to take a break between making the videos. 
so I don't remember exactly what I said before or not. If I am repeating myself, I apologize. Just bear with me. <laughs> anyway, um, in this series, we really faced similar problems. Um, writer became, for all intents and purposes, a member of the Continuum once, which, if you don't know what that means, basically, it means that he had, he could do anything he wanted, literally. There was, again, literally nothing beyond his power. So, there were plenty of times when they had, uh, when they dealt with such power on a cosmic level, really. And the plot, as something of a morality tale, very fitting also, I find. That's what I think I am. Yes. Oh, crud. Yeah, we did just bring Riker from there. I don't remember how. See what I mean about, you know, three hours of this? Oh, that's where that goes. Yeah, we did just bring Rocket through here. I think you do want to go this way. Or maybe not. Oh, okay. Try that again, then I guess. Yeah, that's where that's where we parked him. Oh, son of a gun. Yeah, I might just uh I don't know, I'm tempted to just zoom this part because I am lost. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not very sure how to do that at a zoom parts of videos. I'm still learning as it goes. Actually, I don't think I have, I don't, I don't have to worry about anything. Anyway. Hmm. I know, okay, yeah, I believe this should be the bottom, yep, let's go over, ah, sorry, <laughs> Oh, 
finally on the right track. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but that in mind, could you really imagine... Sorry about that, folks. Uh, as I was saying, now I've said it before and I'll say it again. With with all this in mind, <clears throat> would you guys really want to see me trying to get through the entire level, not knowing what the heck I'm trying to, or what the heck I'm supposed to go? Sorry about that again, and I'll, you know, I'll have to do it one more time. Please forgive me. I apologize for that once again, folks. Roommates and all, you know how it all goes. Who's this is. Oh, okay, right, okay. It's, uh... shouldn't be any more fighting unless I really mess up and hit one of those uh, ice patches. Oh wait, let's bring data back for a moment. Go back to Riker. Now 
gonna switch to Beto. And he is going... Yes? Take him with you. There are two of them. Oh, you can have that one. I'll, I'll that one. Once again, I apologize for that. Enjoy having a roommate there. <laughs> anyway, I forget what I was saying before, so obviously it wasn't that important. is just hypnotizing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Tell me that I'm not the only one who's nearly getting tired by by this music. Tell me I'm normal. Tell me I'm normal. I'm sorry. This is one of the. This is one of the things I really like about older games. It, it, it's such a simple setup, it really is. Um, oh, musically, anyway, it's just a simple setup. Especially because I'm not quite sure if. Well, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, my train of thought got zero for a second, but anyway. They can do so much. I mean, it's almost amazing, really, if, if you think about it.
games were uh, compared to today, such simplistic things. It's almost surprising they were as good as they are. In ways, technological, obviously, they couldn't hold a candor to, to today's games. When, you know, look at Data here, he's, he's a heavily pixelated sprite. And in modern games, you can almost count capillaries on a character's forehead. But, I don't think that's really enough to make a game good, to be honest. We were almost done. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, from now on, no more guides or anything else. And this is where we're going to pause this video. I don't know how long it's been. I've got to keep my timer going. But this has been our Let's Play, and we will see you next time, my friends. Thank you for watching.